Hello, my name is Nick Walter and welcome to Working with Maps and Location in iOS Apps. Just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I've been an iOS developer for over five years now and all the apps that I've put in the App Store combined have a total of over hundreds of thousands of app downloads. So been down the road quite a bit. I've also been teaching for quite a bit. I've taught over 70,000 students how to code and I love Swift. Swift is the new programming language from Apple. I can't necessarily say too much new now. It's been out for about four years now. But the programming world, that's pretty new, but I just think it's such a great language. It's so much cleaner than Objective-C, and I think it's an awesome point for people to start learning. So just want to give you an overview of what this course is going to be about. The main thing that we're going to try and be creating here is a Pokemon Go clone. And the reason for that, the skills that you should be able to gain at the end of this, is to one, be able to work with maps, and two, work with location. So the basic idea behind Pokemon Go is that you take your app outside and you walk around and you can catch Pokemon that are near you. What we're gonna be doing in our app is having a nice big map show up on the screen and allowing users to walk around and you know they can zoom in and out on the map. It'll show where they are. We'll have a cool little Pokemon trainer to represent them. Next, we're going to move on to location, so figure out where we are, how do we work with permissions, things like that, how do we save this information into a database, and then finally, we're just going to finish up the app with some polish, get, you know, the Pokemon that we have caught and not caught to show up inside of our Pokédex. Uh, there's going to be some cool things that we're working on there. So, prerequisites for this, you should have a Mac computer and Xcode 9. You should have some experience with iOS development. If you need any help there, I have tons of other courses here on Pact. Uh, that you can get information from there. But with that, I want to give you one last party message here, and that's that you can do this. I'm here for you. I'm a self-taught developer. I know what it feels like to start up on your own. So let's go ahead and tackle this thing.